Hello everyone. In the previous video, we discussed about the asymptotic notations. They were the big O notation, the omega notation, and the theta notation. And we also discussed the graphs of the three notations. Okay. So in this video, what we are going to discuss is a question that we have been given a function f of n. We did, we said that a function f of n is a big O of function g of n. Okay. So we had done the conditions for those. You can see in the previous video in the playlist. So if we have, if we are given a uh, question or a function as three n plus two, and we have to find out a function g n depending on that. Okay. So how we'll find out? We know that three n plus two. The condition for this to be satisfied is if and only if f n is less than or equal to some constant into g of n. Okay. So that means three n plus two is going to be less than or equal to c of g of n. Now, since I have a linear function in f n, so the function g n is also going to be linear. That is, three n plus two is less than or equal to some n. Now I have to determine the value of this constant c. So what I'm going to write down, I'll check out for n is equal to one. Uh, sorry, for c is equal to one. For c is equal to one, suppose I say the value of n is one. So for one, n is equal to one. This is still bigger. Uh, three into one, three plus two five. Five uh, is less than equal to one. No, false. Suppose I take the value of uh, c to be two. Okay. So for n is e see, this is obvious that at least I need three n. 3n plus 2. So at least I need a value on this side, which is greater than 3n plus 2. So I will at least need 4 over here. Why? Because 3n, if we think uh, mathematically, so at least uh, the whatever the value of n comes out to be here, uh, I'll uh, minimum I'll have 3n, some multiple of 3. Then in that multiple of 3 also, I have added a value to that. So that is a value which will be uh, four times of n will only satisfy this equation. You can also use the hit and trial method, and you can also uh, uh, you know think a bit mathematically and solve it. So suppose I write down here five of n. So if I take n is equal to one, so n is equal to one, uh, n into uh, sorry three into one plus two five, and five it would satisfy n is equal to two, three into two six plus two eight. Eight and here uh, five into two ten, so it would satisfy. But when I check for four, so for n is equal to one, what I get? Uh, for n is equal to one, I get three into one plus two, that is five, and four into one is four. But for n is equal to two, what I get? Three into two six plus two eight, okay. And for n is equal to two, I get here eight. So I try to take the minimum value of the function of g, and I can also use five f, five n. This is not wrong, but the most recommended and appropriate method is to take the minimum one. So I use four n, and since I find out that for n is equal to two, they both become equal. And suppose I have n is equal to three. Three into three is nine. Nine plus two is eleven, and uh, four threes are twelve. So here this becomes greater than this. That is what I require. And for n is equal to two, they uh, satisfy the equal to condition. So the value of n naught, that is the lower limit, will become two. Okay, and uh, uh, since we are done in that, that n is always greater than or equal to some n naught, which is the lower limit. So I found out this n naught. Now I will always take the value of n as two, three, four, five, and that is going to satisfy this equation. So for so my g n comes out to be four n, c g n. Okay, and my n naught comes out to be two. One thing you have to remember is that. Never take an equation for g n. That is, never take a. Uh, you know, you cannot write down over here uh, some constant. You cannot add it because if you write down in this way, suppose now one question that would come to your mind is, what if I write down three uh, n, like two n plus something or something like that over here? But no, you. Where are you going to include that in? Because this is a constant c. This four n. Uh, we'll we'll see out see, see this out here. In this four n. Okay, I need to find what c g of n, right? So this four, four is a constant. Okay, so if I had uh, and n is the g n, so this is okay. But suppose I had written four n 
प्लस टू ओके सो सो हाउ वुड आई फाइंड आउट लाइक वॉट वुड दिस वुड टू एन प्लस वन राइट बट सपोज इफ आई चेक इट फॉर दिस दिस विल नॉट सेटिस्फाई दिस इक्वेशन ओके सो इफ आई आई विल नेवर राइट डाउन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एन इक्वेशन और एन एक्सप्रेशन लाइक दिस आई ऑलवेज चेक अ सिंगल वन ओके एंड सपोज आई हैड अ लीनियर सॉरी आई हैड अ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन ओवर हियर सो आई वुड टेक क्वाड्रेटिक ऑन दिस साइड सपोज आई हैड अ ट्रिपलेट लाइक द पावर थ्री इक्वेशन आई वुड टेक अ क्यूबिक इक्वेशन एंड इन मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेज द इक्वेशन दैट कम्स आउट फॉर जी एन is one more than what is present on the given like on the function side right so it is obvious and mostly it comes out this this is not compulsory this is not a rule but mostly it comes out to be this okay so next in next presentation we are going to discuss the master's theorem and see you then thank you for watching you if you have any doubts or any suggestions you can uh, mention in the comments below okay thank you